we're going to define Fibonacci. So here's our definition. And let's try this out. So we'll print the result of Fibonacci 0 first. We should get 0, which we do. We'll try Fibonacci 1. We get 1. So we've seen our two base cases. Now when we do Fibonacci 2, what we should get is the result of Fibonacci 1, which is 1, plus Fibonacci 2 minus 2, which is Fibonacci 0, which is 0. So we should get 1 again, which we do. And now let's try printing Fibonacci 3. We get 2. And if we print Fibonacci 4, we should get 1 plus 2, which is 3, which we get. And if we try 5, we should get 2 plus 3, which is 5. And let's try something a little bigger. Let's say Fibonacci 10. We get 55. We'll try Fibonacci 25. So uh, we'll try Fibonacci 24. So if we're counting months, that would be the number of rabbits in two years. And we get 46,000. And let's try in three years our program times out. So I'm going to try this soon in the Python interpreter. We'll see we can do slightly bigger ones. But the time it takes to solve Fibonacci this way is very long. And the reason for that is because we're doing lots and lots of redundant calculation. So if we look at what our code is doing, every time we call Fibonacci n, what's happening is we're calling Fibonacci n minus 1, and we're calling Fibonacci n minus 2. So we're starting, we're calling Fibonacci 36. That was the example where the interpreter didn't finish. And what we'll get is that's going to be broken down into calling Fibonacci 35 plus the result that we get from calling Fibonacci 34. Each of those is another call to Fibonacci. So the call to Fibonacci 35, well, that will be broken into calling Fibonacci 34 and adding that result to what we get from calling Fibonacci 33. And when we do Fibonacci 34 here, well, that's going to be turned into calling Fibonacci 33 and adding the result to Fibonacci 32. OK, so I think you get the idea. We're going to do lots and lots of calculations here. And we haven't got close to getting down to Fibo 1 or Fibo 0, which is the only places that we stop. If we look at the number of times we have to evaluate Fibo 32, let's pick that one. So Fibonacci 32. We have to evaluate it once here. We have to evaluate it once here, once here, once here, and one more time. So we need to evaluate Fibonacci 32 one, two, three, four, five times. The number of times we had to evaluate Fibonacci 33 was one, two, three times. The number of times we had to evaluate Fibonacci 34 was two times. And the number of times we had to evaluate Fibonacci 35 was one time. And the number of times we had to evaluate Fibonacci 36 was one time. So maybe you can see a pattern here. How many times do you think we're going to need to evaluate Fibonacci 31? 